I'm back. Hi guys, welcome back to Tash Talks Truth with your host, Natasha Tracy Taylor, also known as your girl Tash. Ground your energy, this is not the video for that. Ground your energy. Ground my energy, right? Thanks. Right Tash, ground your energy. Right, good, 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 good. Welcome back guys. Today's video is different. Today is a relationship love talk video. As you guys can see, I have on my hat, I have on my nice little t-shirt here, and I have my tea, and I'm ready to vibe with you guys today. Today's video is speaking on behalf of the kings. I know you guys heard correct, the kings. Many times I'm doing relationship videos, and of course it's, you would think, because I'm a woman, I always speak on a woman's behalf, but truth of the matter is, I'm here to change the game. The kings have a message. Their heart is crying out, and I know many people are like, okay, but they're men, so they're supposed to suck it up. So your girl's gonna be getting into some heavy content, allowing you to see things from a different perspective so that you can be able to really be inspired, be moved, and change the game. I'm here to change the game. I seen a post on Facebook a couple of weeks ago, guys, and the post was so real. So it was a Facebook friend, and I just thought, wow. When he posted it, I also went through, of course, I was being nosy, and I went through the comments and the guy's post was just, it was mind blowing because a lot of kings feel like this. I've spoken to kings, coworkers on set, colleagues, whatever. And you know, they've expressed that one way or another when they're speaking to you one-on-one -on -one and people feel that they can trust you and they can open up to you. He's not the only one that feels like that, but what really touched me and why I wanted to create this video is as I was scrolling through the comments, I seen guys really agreeing with him and opening up and, you know, sharing a little piece of themselves, even if they didn't want to like obviously get into details, you can tell that their heart was crying out. And I made sure I commented underneath that I was going to do a YouTube video on this. I thought that it was powerful. It needed to have some light shed on it. It really needed to have people look at things from a different perspective. So I'm going to read you guys the um, post. So of course I have my tea. I'm enjoying my little tea. And oh gosh, I don't know about you guys, but do you guys have your tea with a spoon in it? I don't know. It's different. When you don't have a spoon, it's like you have to grip it. It's like a different grip. At least when you have the, the spoon, you like, you can just like grip it. Okay, sorry. All right, I'm going to read it for you guys. I don't know if anyone else has ever been with someone with mental health issues, but it's extremely one-sided. As a man, we have to be strong through all their depression, mood swings, and anxiety. Nowadays, we can't even get mad. We just have to try to understand what they are going through no matter what they do. They smash something or start crying over nothing or get easily bored. It's our job to calm them down and pretty much do whatever they want just to keep them happy. If you care for them, you will do what it takes, but honestly, it's so draining. We keep so much inside as men already. Sometimes you women don't understand that you're just making everything about you. Y'all really need to think about how we feel more often. Now, guys, that was real. Like, did you feel that? I felt that. Like, that was real. When I read that, I was like, wow. I want to touch on the first part that he said. He said, I don't know if anyone else has ever been with someone with mental health issues, but it's extremely one-sided. So if you guys are new to my channel, you would know that I do various things. I have vlogs. I have times where I'm super hyper and I'm, you know, motivating you guys in between. But this particular video, guys, where you see me in my hat and my, my t-shirt and I'm a little bit more relaxed, it's so that I can be able to be real with you guys. Change the game when it comes to love and relationships. Sit down, give you guys insightful messages, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and peace in whatever you're going through in your relationship that you can be able to see things from a different perspective. You can try the methods that I'm teaching you and it's not teaching you on, oh, she's trying to tell me what to do in my relationship. It's seeing things from a different perspective, fighting spiritually, having a deeper understanding than what's just at the surface instead of taking things for face value, you're digging deeper. So that's why I created this whole segment of the relationship love talk. Everybody at this day and age, it's 2020, can be able to say we can all be in agreement that the dating game has changed from mama papa days back in the day. Now people are 
more hesitant to trust. They're lying more often. Um, their hearts are broken, so they're entering into relationships where they haven't dealt with previous hurt, whether that came from childhood, whether that came from a marriage, a lost child, losing a loved one, uh, a failed business. Uh, there's so many different reasons that people are broken and they're not healing themselves. It's the reason for their mental illness. In saying that, if you've been dating and you've been on the market for a while, I think we can all agree and say that everybody has dated somebody with mental health issues. Queens, let's keep it real. We do go through mood swings and anxiety and all kinds of different stuff. We, can, we have to be a mom. We have to work every day, make sure we're providing for the family. Wife hat on. You have to also make sure you're cooking and cleaning and getting your day-to-day -day stuff done. You also have to make sure you're keeping your head in order, taking care of yourself. If you're trying to get a, a, in a routine of maybe you're trying to lose weight, fix up your hair. Maybe you're trying to make your hair grow back is what I'm trying to say. Maybe you're trying to get your life in order, whatever it is. You're trying to find a job. You're trying to find a place to live. You're trying to get new skills. You're trying to learn a new language. You want to go back to school. There's a lot of emotion in that. That's a lot to deal with. So when you're going through those types of emotions, it's fair to say that your anxiety level is going to be up. It's going to be all over the place. But what this guy is trying to say in the post is that if you're, if you're dating somebody and they're going through bits and pieces of those things that I've mentioned and they snap at you, they break under pressure, they throw a temper tantrum, they act like they're bipolar. The men feel like they have to be silenced. They have to be quiet. They're not allowed to express themselves. Ooh. They're not allowed to express themselves. They're not allowed to even show any kind of weakness. Otherwise, it would be looked at like they're a bad man. They're no good. They're just like the rest. They'll remind you of Peter and Tom that treated you like, and that's not fair. So I really wanted to share this video, guys, to be able to say if you're in a relationship and you're trying, even if you, it's just dating, you just met the person, Understand that everybody is going through some sort of mental illness that we all need to be patient one way or another. Everybody's going through something. You're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. Shoot, I got my shoes too. Y'all don't know. Let me just sip a little tea. Everybody goes through their issues. So it's all about us exercising patience, grace, knowing that Somebody is going to have some sort of brokenness and baggage that they're going to bring to the relationship just like you. And if you expect them to not say anything, you're being very selfish. If you expect the person that you're with not to feel away when you snap under pressure because, you know, you have daddy issues or you have mama issues or, you know, you were in a marriage and they cheated on you or somebody slept with your best friend or a, a business partner broke you so bad it, it, and you ended up in a shelter. So now, you know, your life is trying to get back in order and you're trying to date somebody. You, you, you're so stingy with money. You shouldn't be dating. If you know that any mention of money, you're going to get anxiety, you're going to start to freak out, you're going to be accusing them wrongfully, you need to stay alone. I basically wanted to touch on when he said when they smash something. That's movements of a cray-cray. I used to be a cray-cray. We know what a cray-cray is. That's somebody that has lost their mind. Smash things. That's move of cray-cray. Come on. We know cray cray. I used to be a cray cray. I ain't even gonna lie. But at that time, I had no knowledge. I had no knowledge of relationships. Back home, they would say, you pick, pick, pick to your pick. The man said, smash things. Now, if you, if that's you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm guilty, or you're busting out of laughter because that's you, okay. I love you, and I'm gonna speak truth. You need to get your issues fixed. I used to be cray cray. I didn't have no sense of direction when it came to controlling my emotions. I was insecure. I wanted attention. I wanted a show, as they would call it. And all that did was to feed my anger. It did nothing. It, all I did, the reason why I was doing that, I was hurt. I was broken. I was lost. I didn't know how to control my emotions until I understood how to change the game. Until I understood that being cray cray. Every and anybody will run from you. If anything, you're going to attract another cray-cray because they're going to want to take on the cray-cray challenge. Trust me. It's real out there. A narcissist will smell another narcissist and then try and see if they can be a bigger narcissist to them. 
that's definitely a danger zone. If you have to smash things because you're upset and you're, you're going in a temper tantrum, you can't handle what was said, you were told no, and you know it made you feel hot and sweaty, and you just, you know you were right in an argument, and you feel like you have to get your way, or they, they did you wrong, and you feel like you have to justify yourself, so, and they're not listening, they hung up the phone on you, you're calling them, they turned off their phone, and you have to start smashing up stuff, you went over their house, you have to start smashing. That's not healthy. Kings. If you are going through that and you have a person that you're dating and they're smashing things, baby, you need to leave that alone. Let them have time to heal because sooner or later they will smash down your spirit, smash your life, smash your entire destiny because you're going to stay constantly rippled on that negative energy, drawing that to you. So I really recommend that you stay away from those type of naris. So this part, guys, I found to be really interesting. He said... If you care for them, you'll do what it takes, but it's honestly so draining. We keep so much inside as men already. Mm. That's powerful. And for me, that speaks volume. I don't know. Everybody judges things and looks at things in a different perspective. Now, when I say judges things, I don't mean judging him. I mean, when you're reflecting and you're having that alone time and you're like processing and you're trying to get your own understanding of it. So you have your own way of looking at things. That's what I mean by your own judgment towards things. So I'm not judging him. Let's just put it out there. As you guys can see, I did not disclose his identity only because I asked his permission on Facebook, but he didn't get back to me with a response in time for me to shoot this video. So I figured I still wanted to respect his privacy and not disclose his identity. So going back to the post, guys, I didn't want to get off track here. I just wanted to insert that. That was a powerful statement. So I'm going to read it again. He said, if you care for them, you'll do what it takes, but it's honestly so draining. And then he went on to say, we keep so much inside as men already. We keep so much inside as men already. If you care for them, you will do what it takes, but it's honestly so draining. We keep so much inside as men already. So there's a man that understands that you have to be patient, that you have to sometimes endure rough times because in a marriage or relationship or dating, it's not always teeth and giggles. There's going to be times where you're trialed and you're tested and you need to be able to withstand that through trials and tribulation builds character, builds strength. You know, so that you can be able to go on to the next storm and conquer and continue to grow and elevate. Every day we're learning. Only a dead man stops learning, guys. And I'll say that again. Only a dead man stops learning. So this man said that it's honestly so draining. I can see why he said it's draining. When you have to deal with your own problems and you're trying to get your life in order and you crave love and then you meet somebody and they have baggage... And then, you know, you have to suppress everything that you're going through. You have to kind of like, you know, put on a facade because you don't want them to know all, everything that you're going through right at once. Who, who would want to know that right in the beginning? That's very overwhelming. So you have to try to put on this persona and put on this front. And then they're also snapping at you, also trying to, you know, manipulate you, abuse you, talk down to you, disrespect you because they went through an episode. I can see that. And that's not fair. The same way that us as queens, we expect a man to be patient with us. We expect him to be strong. We expect him to, you know, provide. We expect him to understand. We expect him to protect us and communicate, you know, and solve the problem. Not everybody is like that. And that goes for both kings and queens. We all have issues. We all have areas where we need improvement. We all have strengths and weaknesses. We can all feed off of each other where one person is strong in an area, another person can be weak. Where one person is knowledgeable in one area, another person may be completely ignorant and they can be able to feed off of each other. In 2020, you need to start talking about what kind of issues you're coming to the table with. No more pretending. It's getting real, guys. Look at what happened in 2020. Did you ever think that we would go through this type of pandemic? So there's no time to front anymore. You need to be black or white, no gray areas. 
So come to the table letting people know what your issues are. If you know you have daddy issues and you haven't dealt with that, let the person know that. Have real conversations. It actually makes you stronger as a couple. It grows you. It makes you stand in your truth. And believe it or not, you actually start to embrace who you really are. Do you know how many people are walking around and they still don't know who they are? They're walking around like lost souls. And I was one of them. Let me tell you. And I would make decisions and people were like, okay, yeah, I love you, girl, but you, you really making some decisions that I don't know, like I'm even questioning my friendship with you. So I know what it is guys to feel broken. I know what it is to crave love. I know what it is to go through things and want a support system. I was thrown under the bus by friends, family, coworkers, boss, colleagues. Oh man, you name it. And let me tell you, a lot of people don't believe in God, but I openly speak about him on my pages. And I really say, guys, that if it wasn't for the Lord, I would not be here sharing this message. I've been through hell and back to be able to come back and give this knowledge to you. It profits me nothing to take this information to my grave. Everything that I'm telling you guys, all of my knowledge and the insights that I share, the perspective that I speak from, I have practiced these things. I practice it. I've seen what it does in my relationships. I've seen what communicating does. I've seen what being real with somebody right in the beginning. Asking them, why do, why do you think your last relationship broke up? Be honest with yourself. See if the person is actually going to say that they cheated, that they made a mistake, that they were a drug user, or just see if they're able to stand in their truth about something, or if they're going to say that it was all the other person's fault. In their answer alone, it's not what they say, it's what they don't say. Can make you figure out if they have integrity, if they're a liar. And you have to use that. That's why the spirit of discernment is so important. I have been through hell and back when it comes to relationships. I can be able to give insight in terms of how you can be able to stir the ship so that you can get back on track in terms of getting your head right doing things differently, fighting in a different way, not fighting with your partner, but against the enemy because your relationship's being attacked. It's a spiritual attack that you don't see. So if you're fighting with your words because somebody told you something that you didn't like, it didn't sit well with you, it burns you, it made you feel uncomfortable. What they were saying, they were wrongfully accusing you in Jesus' name. Don't fight with your words. Tune in to Tash Talks Truth Channel and allow me to inspire you with a different way to think a different perspective a different point of view that you're able to broaden your understanding that you're able to connect to who you are that you're able to see yourself see where you went wrong in your previous relationship or if you're currently in a relationship a marriage you're just about to go back on the dating field and you've been single for a long time and you want to be able to get a little bit of tips trust me when i say i've been through the dirt and it was because I didn't understand. I didn't understand what relationships were, what I'm supposed to look for. I didn't even stay, I didn't even really know who I was, to be honest with you. There was so much soul searching that I had to do. I know what that's like. And I'm here to tell you guys that we're gonna change the game. Men really do keep a lot inside, guys. They were conditioned to not cry. That when they're growing up, boy, you stupid, what are you crying for? If you cry, you're looked at as a punk or a PU whatnot, you know? So men feel like they can't express themselves. They can't be able to show that something is bothering them, something hurts. They're still trying to heal from that past trauma. They're still trying to deal with stuff from their childhood that they're in denial from. They're still trying to deal with a, a forgiveness. They're still trying to pick themselves up. They're still trying to, you know, uh, get rid of the shame. So Kings, if that's you, I just want to say I understand. And Queens, I just really want to be able to let you guys know that Kings are crying out. There are really good men out there, guys. I can truly, truly testify to that. I, I, I fellowship with them. I am with a, a really great man. I've experienced great men, even though they weren't for me. They were truly, you know, good people. You know, and I've experienced from really amazing men to absolutely horrific men that was on the brinks of being a sociopath and all of the in-between. And I say that there's good people out there, good kings, good queens that are ready for relationships, but a lot of people are scared because at this day and age, it's changed. 
Nobody can't be trusted. People are lying about if they're married, if they're not married, if they have kids, where they live, how many kids they have, where they came from, their nationality, what job they work at, how much money they make, what car they drive. They'll drive somebody else's car and say that it's theirs. Meanwhile, it was a rental or it was a friend's car, even a neighbor's. Like, it's gotten that bad. So the king that shared this, I just want to say, good for you. You are brave. And I know that there's many kings out there where your heart is crying out. You actually want to talk to somebody. Somebody, your heart's crying out. You're tired of the same old, same old feeling. You're tired of the same brokenness. You're tired of being stuck. And I'm here to tell you that Tash is here for you guys too. I really want to say I'm proud of you, King. It's not easy to get up, open your phone, and want to be transparent with the world. Want to share with the world what you're feeling in that given moment. And express yourself. And show what you're feeling in that given moment. To show that you're going through stuff in the dating world that's hard. And you want to be able to understand, what's up? Am I the only one out there? Somebody talk to me. Not everybody's able to do that. So King, congratulations. And hats off to you. If you're out there and you're listening to this video and you're like, man, trust me, this girl has no idea what I've been going through. You have no clue, Tash. Oh, trust me, I do. <laughs> I get a lot of people that inbox me. I've met a lot of people. I fellowship with a lot of people on a daily basis. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I envisioned it. But the amount of messages that I get, the way, the, the heaviness of the, the conversations that I'm having with people, the in-depth that they're going in their story and sharing themselves, oh gosh, it's truly a blessing. I didn't expect it to that magnitude. So for that, I want to say thank you to everybody. Kings, if you're going through something like this, of what this guy posted, and you, you want to be able to express that. You want a platform that you can feel safe, that you're not going to be judged, that people are not going to be looking at you like you're weak or you're a punk, or that you're, you know, they're going to be throwing words, some Facebook friend or somebody that is a mutual friend saw your comment or, you know, saw something and you feel uncomfortable. I challenge you to email me at tashtalkstruth at gmail.com. You need motivation. You need inspiration. And that's why I created this platform. You can journey through destiny's journey and not be able to have somewhere where you can be able to speak freely. Somebody's ear, a shoulder, a confidant in your corner. And guys, if you don't have that, that's why I created Tash Talks Truth with the uh, relationship love talk. This particular love talk, whenever you guys see me in the hat and the t-shirt, we're ready to get real. That means that your girl got touched by a message, a post, somebody emailed me, something. I've been, I've been hearing stuff that's just overwhelming and I want to release. You email me and I promise you that I will be able to do a video touching on it, shedding light on it. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, also feel free to email me. I am more than open ear to be able to uh, listen to what you're going through, give you feedback, let you know if it's, you know, if you're heading in the right direction, even give you a different perspective. You don't necessarily have to take my advice, but I, I would at least give you food for thought. I would fill your spirit with the food that you have something to sleep on. Queens, we're talking to you now. Mm -hmm. Queens, if you're tuned into this channel and you're listening right now and maybe what the guy posted sounds like you, I don't want you to feel bad. I don't want you to think that you're a bad person because you know, you're know you suffering with mental illness. You're not a bad person. Kings, if you are suffering with mental illness, you are not a bad person. You need to be able to talk about it. If you don't talk about it and you're suppressing it, it only makes it worse because now you're, you're, your inside is on fire. You're forced to live a lie. You're smiling on the outside, but your inside's on fire. So you're, you're, you're facing that battle every day and it's consuming your mind. From your mind comes your family, comes your thoughts, comes your creativity. So I just want to say to you guys, you are not bad. If you are suffering with any type of depression, any form of mental illness, 
and it's affecting you one way or another. It's affecting your job. It's affecting your family. It's affecting how you live. It's affecting how you think. Every time you see a positive quote, it only fills you for the minute, but then afterwards you're, you're, you're thirsty again. I want to let you know that there's hope. I want to let you know that there's faith. I want to let you know that God is able. I want to let you know that I can empower you. I can push you. I can allow you to change your whole perspective. If you would just continue to tune in, if you would just believe that tomorrow is always better than your today or your yesterday, if you would just allow God to broaden your understanding, if you would just shift from the way that you used to think, from the way that your family groomed you from thinking, from the way that you grew up thinking, from the way that social media or, you know, the, your peers or the way that, you know, your, your, your comfort zone is allowing your mind to form. I ask if you're willing to get out of that, if you're willing to break that, if you're willing to make a change in your life and really make that change to become the best version of yourself, I encourage you to not only like, subscribe, and share. Not only is it important for you to like, subscribe, and share this channel, guys, it's important for you to continue to stay tuned. The videos will move you, it will empower you, it will change your life forever. I'm here to change the game. Change it. With all the knowledge that I have, I'm not going to my grave with it. I'm gonna make sure that I touch each and every one of your hearts one way or another. With everything that I've learned, all the information and wisdom that I've gained, I'm gonna make sure that I pour it back into your spirits. So I thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tash Talks Truth, Relationship Love Talk. I love you guys. God bless. And I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Mwah!